uses one of his very own Googlings. We've got some uh, treachery <laughs> going on in, in the family. Yeah, I think. One, mm. go! I can't even say how this matchup actually goes. This is probably my first time actually seeing it. Yeah, that's the beauty of Smash Ultimate. Sometimes you see a matchup and you're like, there's too many I damn no characters. I'm, I'm glad we're finally seeing some new matchups. I mean, every, I mean, in the early game, most people are just going to be like, you know what, I just want to see, you know, our presumable top tiers. And after that, it's just like, almost a year into the game, people finally figuring out, you know what, I just want to play who I like. One thing I will say about this matchup that might be good for Bowser Jr. and the Googlings is that the Googlings have a pretty nice up air juggle, and on a heavyweight like Bowser, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that. We saw them getting a lot of percent over there. Yeah, but I mean, Bowser has to deal with that basically every match oh, that he goes no, into. Wow. That was not a safe recovery. Atlo, like, destroying him with the fourth match. Get away from the Clown Heart explosion, able to go ahead and do so. You gotta get away from the Cannonball as well. Even though it is going very slow, that thing packs so much knockback behind it. Yeah, I remember when Cannonball was considered a bad move, but now it's actually, it actually puts some pretty good pleasure, pressure at the ledge. I mean, it, I mean if you, you want to go with the pleasure, it's pleasurable for the Bowser Jr. being honest, though. My goodness, but speaking of Graham is that great stuff coming off the catch-up. And I mean, that up air, like you were talking about, so much combo potential outside of it. All right, catch-up jumping out of the up air, not going to get hit by that neutral air. And side B, connecting twice, and then barely living the up special. That's just like an aerial, right? You just you hit the aerial button. Uh, either, either hit A or hit B button again, but yes, the Googling player can go ahead and control when they do the second hit on the early. For the forward smash, not going to go ahead and land it. But, hmm, actually, I don't know if forward smash is something you want to use against Bowser, just because tough guy does exist. I, I think the multiple hits will go through tough guy. Okay. Because they were like, you no, know, no, I think like no matter what, it will go through tough guy. Okay, I, I would just need to see it. Catch up, make it happen. See how this match turns out. It's looking very good for Catch up so far. <laughs> I know, Catch up had to stop the jabs. He knew. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> and all, like, look at that damage 73%. 88 off the of clown card extension as well from the side B. Atlo is getting his very own side B, getting that grab. He's going to be looking for that forward tilt. Oh, he's not going to land it. There was way too much pressure coming from that cannonball. He did so much shield damage. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. Be careful, Atlo. You might just get your shield broken and keep this up. But he's able to go ahead and seal up that slot with that forward tilt. Up throw. Ooh, he's actually able to get away from the Mecha Koopa. Just stop right in front of him to jump away. Of keeping his distance, setting up the, the tongue. Oh, Wait, no. no, don't. <laughs> I actually thought he died. Too. Look, I, look, I get weak when I see the tongue too, but luckily enough, Atlo is able to react and go ahead and come back. All right. Order. Oh, the Let's go. He hit, he hit him with the burnout. At I like the it. Wrong time. We back on the parent. takes the first game. All right, Atlo's. Thinking to himself about what he could do better. Probably thinking about a counter pick as well, maybe. The stage counter pick. I, I don't think he plays any other characters than Bowser. No, Not I that I so know either. of. I mean, I, I, Unless I saw... he's also a K rule, on which points I'm very intimidated and kind of confused by Australia. I mean, hey, maybe maybe him and Ben just play a lot. You never know. You, uh, look, you, you pick up your training partner's characters quite a bit because you kind of want to understand what that character can do. And that's what a lot of top players do when they run into a problem character. They pick up their opponent's character just to go ahead and see what options and limitations that they have. All right, we're going back to Pokemon Stadium 2. And let's see if uh, Atlo can do anything different to, for this game too. But no, once again, getting caught with the juggles, catching the air dodge 100%. That was like 12 seconds. And then he reads the roll. He's about to get Outro. tossed up again. Oh no, he took the top. Okay. Oh, there goes the explosion off of that clown card. Almost getting hit by the cannonball as well. Mecha Koopa one more time sends him off stage. At lows at 154, 162 now. Hasn't even got a hit in. And as I said, finally landing himself that forward air. You know, get himself a little quicker. Again, going in with that side B, down air towards the stage, won't get punished. 
Gallo's playing very safe, keeping his distance. Oh no, don't die to the tug. He's, he's out of the tug. He's done. He's done. He's That's done. the first time I've seen someone Get that. yourself a towel, that clean is, yourself up. That is actually disgusting. <laughs> and once again, I love the drag down on that down here. He gets so much off of it. Alright, well now he's just getting hit by this one walking both hits of that forwarder. <laughs> he completely forgot about that. He just sometimes you just blank at the ledge and catch up. Knew that was gonna happen. Whoa! He just cancels out that down air with Bowser Jr. neutral. Or I'm surprised that just out prioritized that move. Yeah, coming up with a wand yet again. And that actually was very fortunate for Ketchup. And smart on his part just because he ended up be reversing his recovery. He was facing the opposite way, but he understands that the back end of the wand comes around first. And he read that roll, but sadly, his timing on the fourth smash wasn't quite good enough. And again, Atlo's trying to play it safe instead. Down throw. Puts him in a really bad spot. He tries to go all out with the back air. Now he has to make his way back on against Bowser. He's not finding any trouble. Go ahead and doing that. I thought that the Mega Kuba was going to interrupt I that. Fortunately exactly. enough for At Lowe's, he was able to get away from it, getting that slam. But and might be a little bit too late. He's already sitting at 184, oh, no. and he was never jab, ready. The he wasn't ready. To the face, and At Lowe's. He has to figure out something now. But instead, he's just going to get juggled for another 50, 60, 70 percent even. Oh, he wanted that track down down there just to end the set. Okay. Wow, that was, a, was that the last hit of Twitter? That set of nowhere. Mm -hmm. That second hit of the up there will or up special. Oh, <laughs> no. Did he get pineapples? <laughs> no, 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 no. So what ended up happening is uh, with the Koopa recover with your up B. If you get hit with a very low percentage move, you are basically unable to do anything for the longest time or until you land onto the ground. Yeah, so that, that was just very unfortunate matchup and you know Atlos might use that as key to winning this game too. Oh! Look for to get it to all the jump smash. Yeah. Just enough Stalling from the Bowser Bomb for him to go in and come back. Uh, catch up, able to grab that ledge, but he has to deal with at lows now to get off of it. Another, Another back here. back here, third time's the charm, maybe? No, the punch, the fist, and at lows evens things up. We're going into game three. Oh. That's so <laughs> This is the most unfortunate set that I've seen, just because at Lowe's has been dying to nothing but getting clipped by a couple of jabs or getting clipped by like a single hit, and he's not ready for it. So he's either mashing air dodge or he's mashing another aerial, which sends him way too low. When Bowser without a jump, he doesn't have enough verticality to come back. And then the same thing kind of happened to Ketchup, where yeah, he, he hit his up B and he's like, oh crap, I got clipped. Oh damn, I'm dead. He <laughs> died at 8%. And that's just like the worst way to go out. Yep, but all right, here we go. Game three, father versus son to go ahead and get this thing going. Absolutely. Three, two, one, all right, go! Here we go, Atlas versus Ketchup. That play breath might do a lot of damage, only 25%, but you can. I still a lot of damage. It's, it's pretty good damage, but I've seen it get up to like 40 to get, the, get hit with one card. Oh yeah, if you're all the way inside of that fire, you're not making it out. Not even the fire department can help you. Okay, last hit of that neutral, they're not going to lead into anything. Catch up picking up the Mega Koopa as well. Getting that back throw, Atlos has to deal with the lead pressure one more time. Good. That was great patience from Atlos. Waiting out that whole onset of the Mega Koopa, plus that forward smash. And Bowser possessing the longest reaching getup attack, able to take full advantage of it. And I've noticed every game of this set, I started in a very similar fashion with catch up racking a lot of damage with his juggles, but then at these high percents, he's not able to find the killing move. However, right as I say that, commentator's blessing, we see an up smash, and that will put catch up into the lead. I mean, that's kind of the name of the game when you play against heavies. If you are unable to seal out that slot, you're going to be in a world of hurt just because that's what heavies thrive on. They want to take advantage of that full rage, and they want to take advantage of you just being terrified of them. Yeah, and when you're not terrified, you'll just get back here, and that's how Atlos will keep this 
Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. That back air is definitely terrifying. I I'm still sure. Yeah, he just ran, walked right into it, though. Hard on hard. He's gonna be jumped over completely, but oh, he got hit by that first hit. He's gonna take a world of damage now. All the way out there. Hit him with a hammer a couple times. Down throw, send him right back off stage. What's the trap? What's the trap? Catch him. Give him the tongue one more time. Good damage. The long lasting forward air. Go ahead and make that difficult. And really, this is what Atlas has to deal with over and over. That was so smart. I just wanted to point out, I love the way he dropped that Pentacruza on his shield to bait an action from Atlas, and then he got the grab right out after. And then hitting that up, second hit of up special, I believe. And here we go, another juggle. This might be it. Oh, recovering on stage. Unfortunately, yeah. catch up is too late on the getting that second hit out. Yeah, I mean, he just wasn't sure when Atlas was gonna go ahead and land. He tried to wait as long as he can, but unfortunately, he ended up landing before the last hit of the up special to come out with the wand. But again, Mega Scuba up in the air, down tilt, not gonna connect with neutral, sending Atlas right back off stage. We got a down Ooh, drop into the forward air. so mm -hmm. good. Dude, he 